YouTube, what is up guys? Today we got the Bosun 2-in-1 pack up for an unboxing and review. This is currently on sale with a $5 off coupon that's automatically added to your cart on Amazon.com. Normally retails for $20, but on Amazon right now you can get it for $14.99. So really cool. This comes with the Bosun Trinity, which is a yo-yo that I previously did a full review on, which is a responsive beginner's yo-yo with a fingerspin hub. Uh, you can also add a larger axle and a larger bearing and make it an unresponsive yo-yo, so very cool there. Along with that, you'll get a couple strings, like always you get with these yo-yos. You get this really cool Vosun bag. Uh, and this, so it's the two-in-one pack, but you're not getting two yo-yos, you're getting one yo-yo and a cube. Now, I do not know how to do cubes, but this one feels extremely nice. Um, definitely a lot nicer than just your standard cube with the stickers on it, you know, eat, um, each piece of plastic that's different colored, it's uh, they're like, you know, machined like that, uh, or injection molded or whatever, and they're not stickers, it's, each one's an individual color. So really, really cool, looks like it's very well constructed. Uh, and it looks, appears to be a little smaller than your standard cube, so I can see people really using this uh, to its full potential. It's also very, notice I can give it a little pull, so it feels, you know, it doesn't feel all stiff, and it feels like you could really, really get some Get some action on this thing. So super, super cool with the speed cube. Um, and once again, along with that, we are getting a Boson Trinity. This one comes in this beautiful clear color. Now we're just gonna throw one of these random strings that it came with that I threw in my pocket, I think. Didn't I? Didn't I just put those in my pocket? Okay, here they are. All right. We'll do this uh, yellow one. And once again, this yo-yo is one of these yo-yos that you can add in a, a longer axle as well as a larger bearing. So if you have um, a little longer axle, uh, or you can even buy them, but kind of similar to like the Magic Yo-Yo Crystal, how it comes with one, you can always upgrade it, you know, if you want it unresponsive. But I think this is really cool. I think uh, there's not enough beginner responsive yo-yos. Nowadays, a lot of people try to jump into unresponsive a little too quick, and I think it's always very good. Um, you know, to learn on a responsive yo-yo first. So this is kind of aimed towards beginners or somebody that just wants a responsive yo-yo or, you know, and a cube. Um, but if you were like into cubes, I mean, you're basically, for the price of a cube, you're getting a free yo-yo. So great deal, whether you're a yo-yo fan, a speed cube fan, or some that, uh, you know, might do both. Okay, now let's get this all strung up. Now I've done a full review of this, so I'll put the link up at the top. You can click on that. I'll also put it in the description. But as you can see, it is a nice tug response video, quite snappy, good for basically anything. This string is a little long. And let me uh, shorten this string a little bit. This is uh, normally for like looping and responsive. I like a little shorter strings. Me personally, I like a little shorter string than most people do. Anyways, I've kind of always been a short string type guy. And we will put the specs of the Boson Trinity on the screen here. And I have always been quite impressed with a lot of Boson's yo-yos, but really uh, with the responsive yo-yos, I think they, they do a really good job where, you know, it's a responsive yo-yo, but you can still do some string tricks on it a lot of times you get these responsive yo-yos and they, they don't sleep long enough either to do a lot of tricks. And this one, um, it really, really has a good uh, a good throw to it. It keeps its momentum quite well. Even with the responsive setup, it can handle you know a couple layers of string in there and everything. Uh, this would be a great starter for learning your string tricks. As far as responsive yo-yos go though, this is definitely, definitely, Pretty good. Super fun. There's so much stuff you can only do on responsive areas, and I think responsive, I don't know, responsive play just doesn't get enough love nowadays. But it, it, it really should. I think it's it's really fun. Even somebody like me that's been playing yo-yo for years, uh, sometimes it's fun to just go back to a responsive yo-yo, do different tricks. Um, you know, I love doing stop and goes. UFOs like you just saw there, um, anything like that. Um, but it's really fun too to just be able to, you know, pop your yo-yo back up and throw it back out.
in the, the size and shape of this is quite comfortable. It really has that just nice, you know, kind of mediocre, well not mediocre, I don't know how to say it, like kind of in between, it's not too wide, not too not too big, not, not too heavy, not too light. Just kind of nice and in the middle. Um, for responsive, I've always thought you don't want you don't want too heavy of yo-yos because just when you're doing like um, your, your you know your loop tricks, regens, anything like that, sometimes they're a little too heavy. They feel a little weird. But at the same time, you don't want your responsive yo-yos when you're trying to do string tricks to them to be too light. If it's like a two-a yo-yo, yeah, it can be real light. That's fine. But when it's a yo-yo, you're trying to learn. You know, all your like pit, remember when you first were learning picture tricks as a kid. Like, it wasn't like you could just do a UF, I mean, uh, Eiffel Tower like that. You were like, oh, okay, now I go here, and then I go there, you know, and it takes a while when you're first learning stuff like that. So you need a yo-yo that can actually sleep decent, too. And this yo-yo really does a great job at that. I like how it's just very minimalist. I've always been a fan of just all-out clear yo-yos like this. I think they look super cool. Um, I'm pretty sure it does come in other colors, though. But me personally, I'm really glad I got sent a clear. This was sent to me courtesy of Bozan. They didn't even email me, text me, message me, nothing. I just, just showed up at my dorm like, the hell is this? Well, that's cool. And they actually sent me a couple other yo-yos, like one of their new bimetal yo-yos. So make sure to hit subscribe. Stay tuned for my channel because we'll be doing that very shortly, the next couple days. But for right now, I think this is absolutely an amazing deal. If you're a beginner and you want to get into yo-yoing, don't just get the most expensive you know, unresponsive yo-yo and try to start because you're going to get very frustrated. You're not going to be able to bind. You're not going to be able to, you know, it's just going to make everything harder. You want to start on a responsive yo-yo like this. Something you can learn how to just throw the yo-yo, catch it, do your forward passes, your around the worlds, learn how to do your trapeze, your man and his brother, your double or nothing, wait, wait, your double or nothings. Uh, yeah, no, no, wait, hold on. Let's try that one more time. I always forget, snap starts are kind of weird on responsive areas. Your double or nothing. <laughs> um, even tricks like skin the gerbil. Like you could definitely learn that on something like this. I uh, made it not there, that was me. Once again, your skin the gerbil type tricks. Yeah, and a lot of responsive areas cannot handle tricks like this. And this one does no problem. Big fan of the Vosun Trinity. And um, it does have that finger spin cup. So if you want to put, you know, the larger bearing in there, larger axle, uh, you can go right ahead and you'll be able to do uh, all your finger spin tricks. I, I do believe they do sell a version that comes with that, but not in the two-in-one pack. So they do sell a version, though, that comes with both axles, both the bearings. I that, At least that I think. I'm pretty sure that's the one I reviewed in the past. Um, but for a beginner, this is super cool. So if you're somebody that's looking for a new cube, you, I mean, for 15 bucks, this is a great deal because you can get started, learn your basic yo-yos. Um, and also too, if you're somebody that's thinking about starting into cubing, cubing is really cool. And it's something I wish I learned when I was younger because uh, as a 34 year old, it's always hard for me to learn new tasks like this. Um, it's hard for me to even wrap my brain around how to do these. I've tried to watch tutorials and stuff. Um, and I think it's just getting one of those things, kind of hard to teach an old dog new tricks. But I, th I bet you if I watch enough tutorials or I had a friend that knew how to do this and really taught me, um, I could figure it out. I have a cousin that is crazy good at these. Uh, I've also met some people in the yo-yo community that, that cube that are really freaking good. I saw this one kid, he could do it blindfolded with one hand. Like, it was insane. He would just like memorize where everything was and then he would put a blindfold on and he would do it all with one hand. And I, he was on the train with me on the way to uh, Illinois States. That's where I met him. Really nice guy. I can't remember your name off the top of my head. But if you're watching, a uh, shout out to you because you're pretty cool. And let me know in the comment if that was you. Or in the comment section if that was you. But yeah, really, really cool. For $15, you can't go wrong. Great, great deal. Great value. Both very, you know, good products. And uh, you really can't go wrong. So thank you, Vosun, for sending me, me this unexpectedly. Great little present in the mail. And, um... Stay tuned because we might do a giveaway on these because I have, you know, I'm a little more advanced. So beginner yo-yos, sometimes I like to give them out to people that are just beginning and, uh, you know, kind of spread the love of yo-yo and uh, all that good stuff. So follow me on, uh, follow me here, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter because I don't really know where I'm planning on doing a giveaway of these, but I'm pretty sure I will. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.